What's going on guys, UberGuy here bringing to you a Domination uh, core gameplay. <clears throat> I'm using my new favorite gun, the M8A1. I think I have it with uh, Select Fire, Red Dot, and Quick Draw. Uh, let's get this commentary started. So I'll go ahead and pick up First Blood here. Um, <clears throat> I'm just... I'm just gonna go on ahead on this commentary. I'm gonna do a little bit different. I'm gonna try to give you guys an insight what's going on. What uh, I'm stumbling over my words as I always do. Excuse me. Um, I'm gonna try to give you guys an in depth of what I'm thinking as I'm playing. So uh, before I picked up the first blood, um, <clears throat> the main thing what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to push B spawn. I'm trying to push them, or, or yeah, you want to push them back. Uh, because you take A and they take C and now you're fighting over B. The B, B flag and domination controls the whole match. It's all about map control. Uh, basically what they're trying to do right now is they're trying to flip or either some of our people push either push their spawn too far, number one, or m more than likely they saw that we were very weak on our right side coming from C dom and they just push that. If you put enough pressure on... Uh, um, any person spawn at, AV at any given time the way that this one works is that they flip spawn they necessarily put you closer to B and farther away from your objective that you've taken therefore you're able to cap um, A while taking B at the same time therefore giving you advantage of the match setting the pace of the game without that guys <laughs> um, without that BS I'm just gonna go ahead and break down what I'm trying to accomplish um, I've seen a lot of people have this 10th uh, prestige shit where they have this nuclear killer you know I'm just like how the fuck do they get that you know they getting 30 kills without dying that is really really impressive you know it, I mean it's just enough to get or just to think about it in Modern Warfare 3 aspect you know you get 25 kills you get a Moab um, that's something everybody was trying to accomplish especially in Modern Warfare 2 because it was such an accomplishment to kill 24 people without dying one time well, shit, Modern Warfare 3 was a whole lot easier because you have one-man army. And this one, you do not have it. So, instead of me going um, off-skew of my main conversation, let me get back to it. So, I'm trying to obtain uh, 30 and 0, guys. Basically, get 30 kills with my gun and gun only, not kill streaks. And I'm trying to do this in a reasonable amount of time without dying. Now, these guys that we're playing against aren't the best. Uh, but then again, they are pressing really really heavy right now. They do have B spawn Or they do have the B flag, which is a problem. That's that's given them the option To spawn left and right hand side very very close to our flag Which means I have to play these corners a tad bit tight and I have to play a little bit campy This is not my my normal style of playing my normal style of playing is just run a gun die as many times get as many kills and just see how I do but I'm on a 15 kill streak right now I haven't died not one time since the game has started guys so I'm halfway there and it's kind of it's kind of apparent you know I just want to continue the gun streak I don't want to start it over I'm running UAV counter UAV and orbital VSAT I'm running these kill streaks because I don't want kill streaks that kill. I want kill streaks that will help me get my kills rather than, you know, get the kill for me. Um, uh, I see a lot of commentators do this, um, like Mark of J, or uh, I don't know X Jaws. They they just they do pretty much what I'm doing right now, kind of using the the spawn advantage and the UAVs to their advantage, and then they pick up kills. And then once they get their kill streaks, it's like all hell breaks loose. Now, I'm I'm really not about kill streaks. Now, let me explain this so that way I don't get too confused. So that way you guys don't get too too confused. Well, you're using kill streaks now. I don't like kill streaks that get killed. Basically, I I've gotten the swarm. I don't think I've gotten the dogs, but I've gotten the swarm, and it is beautiful. You know, just boom, 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 taking out your enemy. But that's not me. That's not Uber guy. Uber guy is the type of player that likes to actually play the game he likes that he i like to be very intuitive into what i'm playing i don't like sitting back and letting everything else get my kill for me i mean that's defeating the purpose of leveling up that's the feat that's defeating the purpose of the game in my experience the purpose of kill streaks is for when you're just being put down and just 
beat, being beat into the fucking ground. Basically, what that's doing is that's make that's uh, helping you overcome that right now. So I'm just checking the scoreboard. I'm 24 and all guys. I'm only six kills away. But back to what I was saying earlier. The reason why they implemented kill streaks is for people, you know, to to get out of whatever situation that they're in. So let me just go into a little bit of detail here. <clears throat> Basically, what I'm saying is, have you ever been into a match where um, you have a few guys that are just completely outgunned or outskilled you, and you were trying to figure out a way? To necessarily you, you just needed to cap that flag or you just needed to push a little bit more into their spawn in order to uh you know uh control the match or to either switch the match into your favor that's basically all what kill streaks are guys kill streaks are nothing more than to shift the momentum in your favor that's pretty much it but a lot of people don't necessarily do that a lot of people abuse the kill streaks to just kill whore and just use that for like oh i've gotten a um you know 106 and 5 and 2 gameplay yeah that's nice and all you know just to see how many kills or 100 plus uh kills you could get i now if, if you be realistic i could have switched out my orbital vsat to a load star or switch it out to swarm or something a little bit more powerful and i could have gotten that this game and then my score would have looked like 71 and 2 but I, i'm not really all about i don't gloat over kill streaks getting my kills for me i don't know and maybe it's just a mental problem of mine but i don't see how people think that's an accomplishment just because they have something else get kills for them and then I finally achieved what I was been trying to do so long, the 30 and 0 nuclear kill streak. Every other kill after that, you see this little unstoppable thing. It is beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. So <clears throat> this is my first gameplay. I just thought I wanted to show you guys um, about how I got it. You know, I didn't get it hacking where a lot of these kids just do this shit. You know, oh, I'm 10th prestige, and you know, I just get everything. That I when I found that out, guys. I was so hurt like like not hurt but like mentally hurt so you give kids now and I know what the game uh, track was trying to do track was trying to say if you prestige we will reward you by giving you everything in the game but then again you know you always have assholes exploiting everything which is Call of Duty basics and then when they exploited it all the kids that were garbage were master prestigious and got everything diamond and everything you know all the titles and shit i mean that is that is so weak i'm sorry that is the biggest mistake you ever could have did in any cod game is just given just here okay you you did all the work just here i mean even if you genuinely earned it by yourself i would never just hand out anything i mean that's defeating the online purpose the purpose I, I think I'm just going into this a little bit too much. Um, I just don't understand why they would make a game and then not want the longevity of the game to last. You know, they just want people to play the game, get bored, and then be finished. I figured as much. If you take your time, play like four or five hours a day, you know, rank up a few guns, you know, you're, you're making the game last, you know, you're making the game last for a next franchise or to like play Halo 4 or play like, you know, Modern Warfare 3 or just go back to something else. But no, um, they're so worried about people completing the game. Like, I don't, I don't want to complete the game because I want to enjoy the game. Why would you want to complete something that you're having so fun doing? It makes no sense. I mean, it makes sense to some stature, you know, like Modern Warfare 3. I'm 20 prestige. I got all my guns golden. It took me a while. But if you look at all the time and effort I put into actually getting there, it was actually worth it. Who is this calling? Messing up my commentary. Give me two seconds, guys. Hello? Riding with the boys and girls and we're hiding. All we want to do is have a good time. Sorry about that guys. <clears throat> just had a little um, auntie called just making sure she got home safely. I'll give my grandmother a message. Um 
but yeah back to the commentary i don't see why basically what i'm saying guys is i don't see why everybody just wants to hurry up and finish something that's you know they put a lot of time into an effort and they just wanted to beat it just to beat it i mean i want to beat the game don't get me wrong but i want to beat it and enjoy the game i don't want to just rape the fucking game and then well what else is to do now you know what i mean you have nothing else to do you have nothing else to play which leads me to this beautiful as gameplay, beast as gameplay. Of course, I don't try towards the end. I just say, ha, huh, I got my 30 and 0 kill streak. And with that, I finish the commentary, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. If you did, like it up. This is your commentator. Uber out.